foolish mortals. All right, and welcome back to our final episode of 20 Questions. Okay. 20,000 questions. What was the last concert that you went to? I feel like I should be able to answer that easier. It's been a while since you've been to a car, hasn't it? No, Jesus Christ, the music just changed hard. Yeah, what the fuck hard. is happening? Oh, now it's calm again. <laughs> yeah, we're good. What the hell? Uh, fuck. Um, probably maybe Jesus. Drag the River? Okay. Yeah, you guys are pretty into that band, right? Yeah. I don't think that was the last concert I went to, though. Maybe Dashboard Confessional? Well, unfortunately, I have no answer to this question because I don't go to concerts. Mm. Kind of unfair of me to ask Wait, that didn't I go to something recently where I asked if you wanted to go just in case? Because it was like a band you liked? Uh, not recently. I feel like the last time you asked me that was whenever the sword was playing at like Austin or some shit. Nah, I asked you to uh, go to... Uh, fuck, what's that hair band? The comedy hair band? That... Oh, Steel Panther? Yeah, Steel Panther. I did not go to that, no. But I don't remember you asking me about that. Yeah, because it was for like Stark's birthday. I'm pretty sure I asked you. Oh, did you go? Yeah. How was it? Maybe I didn't ask you because I needed to say no. It was good. They played with uh, Judas Priest. Yeah, I don't think you asked me. No, I remember you talking about going to see Judas Priest. Yeah, that was a few years ago, though. I mean... Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely oh. not the most recent concert right. I've been to. Yeah. I, it's got to be, like, Corey Brannon or somebody like that. Judas like, Priest just... fucking rules. Right? <laughs> I love Judas Priest. They've got some good-ass metal, dude. They they do. I would, def I would say, like, Iron Maiden can be pretty hit and miss for me. I'm definitely more of a Judas Priest fan. Really into White Wizard these days. <laughs> yeah. So thanks for that. Yeah, they're very Jews priests. All right, let's see. Uh... Come here, chicken. Please. Got it. Who was the first band or musician you were really into? Embarrassing answers are welcome. If you want, I'll answer first. Oh, I've... You go because ahead. Because for me, we've already talked about it. Literally, mine. was Will Smith. <laughs> Really? <laughs> that, like, the first time I can remember really jamming out to some music was actually to the Minute Black soundtrack. I had this shitty little like boom box that looked like a toolbox that I used to unfold and put the one CD I owned in, which was the Minute Black movie soundtrack. Nice. And I would just sit there and do that little kid dance where you just sort of like bop back and forth. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that's my answer. And then the follow-up question is, do you still like them? Yes. Fuck yes. Right. <laughs> Whatever the Minute Black theme song or Get Jiggy With It comes on. <laughs> I'm, fuck, I'm like, Big Willie Style! <laughs> I said to donate a song in like three minutes listening to that song. Anyway. Alright. What's yours? Well. Um. The first album I ever owned was the Spawn soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> so. I didn't have very strong, like. Oh, Who's shit. this guy? That's plot. That's plot happening. This is the antagonist. Like to refer to as the brain. You oh, see, God. Son, it's just no good. I hate to be so blunt, but you have the insanity of a manatee. What does that mean? <laughs> People are always saying that. What do you think's wrong with my brain, Doctor? Well, how should I know? I'm a dentist. <laughs> but here's what I do know if a tooth is bad, you pull it. But my teeth are fine. Yep, mad brain's got to come out, boy. It's the quickest way to cure what you've got. Insanity of the mind. But I don't want to... Of the mind? Mm-hmm. No. That's the worst place to have insanity. Right? That guy's got like, one of those old people grabber things. I'm coming up there you got what? You. One of those old people grabber things. No, oh, right. No time to explain, yes. Sasha. I gotta claim the spooky so are you still into the Spawn soundtrack? Well, okay, that was the first album I I just wanted to set a precedent for, like, how I didn't understand how music worked <laughs> yeah. at, whenever I first started getting into bands. Yeah. Um, so I would have to say the first bands I, I was into, it's going to be a draw because I don't know what order I got into these bands in. Uh huh. But uh, Metallica or Prodigy? <laughs> oh, shit, yeah, dude. And an answer to the follow-up question, no, and also no. You're not into Prodigy anymore, dude? No. You don't listen to Smack My Bitch Up? 
If I catch it on like a radio or something, I'll be like, huh, yeah, prodigy, <laughs> smack my bitch up. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not gonna like go out and seek it. Like oh, if geez. I happen to be like walking down an alley or something and I hear Prodigy playing, I'll be like, eh. you know. And it's funny you say that because literally like two days ago I went and YouTube that song "Breathe" that they did <laughs> listen to it its entirety. <laughs> All right, here's the other reel that's in my brain here. <laughs> okay, the world shall taste my eggs. Oh, what is that? A dick button, dude. That's a dick button, dude. It's a something. It's a dick butt, man. Oh, look, the dick butt got run the fish. What the <laughs> fucking? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what the fuck was in here? of that? <laughs> Even he said. This is getting some real existential <laughs> shit here, man. Right? <laughs> All right. <laughs> And then Sasha's just like, how do you feel about your mother? <laughs> okay. mm. And definitely not still a thin of Metallica. Like, some of the old stuff's still okay, but... Yeah, I come and go with Metallica. I mean, there's a few of their songs that I really, really like. Like, uh... Master of Puppets. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But, I don't know, there's a lot of this stuff that I can't... I can't... It's like novelty shit to me. Like, I can't really just sit and listen to it. Yeah. I don't oh, even think I song, have, like... Um, For Whom the Bell Tolls? I really like that one. Ooh, um, there was a... <laughs> there was a version of that on the Spawn soundtrack. <laughs> wow, dude! Is that just, like... Is everything in your life re just comes back? There's, like, a web that spawned from the moment that you listen to the Spawn soundtrack, and every single thing that has happened in your life since then can be traced back to that moment. It's just weird how much that's coming up in today's, like, <laughs> recording session. That is fucking hilarious. Okay. I honestly think the Spawn soundtrack's in my fucking car right now. Like, is it really? I, I've got it sitting in there so I can listen to it whenever. Okay, well, now we know what we're doing later. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what types of what bands or type of music do you listen to when you exercise? Uh, I don't, but I imagine <clears throat> metal. Yeah. Uh, I have an answer to this. There's no way to get me higher. I used to go for a lot of late night walks for exercise, and I would listen to. There's a band called the Megas, who does like you know like rock covers of original Mega Man music. <laughs> I had no idea. So I, to, I was like listening to that a lot at the time and I would listen to it while walking. Lucky for you, we have one of the world's foremost levitators on staff. Agent Mia Vodello, the mental minx. Precisely. I shouldn't call her lady that. Is that offensive? I don't know. Do what? Is that offensive? I don't know. Mm. Interference is coming from. Return when you've earned your levitation merit badge. Okay. So now we can finally leave this room. Yep, and then uh, since we've only got a few more minutes left in the episode, and it's the last episode we're recording today, I'm thinking I'll probably just do a little bit of wandering around with my pyrokinesis and brain blast and try to do some scavenger hunt shit, instead of moving on to the worst level in the game. What are the three best apps on your phone? <laughs> I don't. Uh, I don't know how to answer that. Okay, well, Shazam's definitely on there because I still. It's still a miracle to me that Shazam exists. Fair. Oh, uh, like I don't. It's basically magic to me. Okay. Shazam is something that I'll I never that thought up. would exist, but it was invented like six years ago. Yeah, it's so fucking useful. Yeah. Like, just that kids, kids, kids gather around, listen to your daddy John and me tell you about how it used to be. It was bad. You couldn't just like. Somebody basically invented a way to Google what song you're listening to right now. Yeah. Like the best you could hope for was to type in like whatever misheard lyrics you could remember. Yeah, if you could remember any lyrics. That's just not the case anymore. Like yeah. you can just hold your phone up and it learns and tells you and it's a beautiful fucking thing. It is magical. I don't have another two. I don't know. Well, I know the what Star Realms app. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. Like, I don't use a lot of apps on my phone. I frequently yeah. use Facebook, and I frequently use the, the banking app that I have. <laughs> oh, uh, Google Translate. Pretty oh, yeah, useful. Pretty good. Do you use that a lot? Not a lot. Uh, I don't want to be here. Okay. But I'm here. 
All right, one more. Let me find one more. A lot of app questions on here. I don't really feel... I'll suck being here. I don't really feel these app questions. I'm going to head to the beach. What apps have changed your life, Shazam? Yeah. <laughs> Is the Spawn soundtrack an app? <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're in the phone area now. <laughs> Alright. Is it normally. Oh, hey! You wanna see me set a bird on fire? <laughs> yeah, do it, dude. Let's see. Where are you, you little bastards? There's one. Maybe. Yeah, that's one. That James oh, there he you goes. My new boyfriend, James. Something funny he said? No. Which one's James? James is a cowboy. Okay. She's trying to use her boyfriend relationship with James to get in with Beck here, right? There's some weirdness going on there. Oh, God. oh hey. There's a card back here. Um, I'll holler when I find a bird. They seem to be running away from me faster than I can burn them. This phone conversation suck. Now we're down to sports. All right, I'm going to ask you a sports question. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, who are some of your favorite athletes? Uh... Andre Johnson. Okay. Which I think is his name at this point. I don't even remember. Who's Andre Johnson? He used to play for the uh, the Houston Texans. <laughs> okay. And my favorite thing about him was that like one of the first times I saw like a, a sports like clip or whatever of him, um, he hit a guy so hard his helmet flew out. <laughs> <laughs> and that was when I simultaneously became a fan of both him and the Texans. Oh, I didn't know there was actually an origin story. Yeah. I thought your sole interest in them was because they were just an obnoxious team with a stupid name and they weren't the Texas team from where we're from. <laughs> nope. Anyway, what do you say we tackle this beach next ah, time? Ah, damn it. I accidentally triggered a... After this cuts... Oh, Jesus, what's wrong with that fish? Dead, dude. Dude. Cook it up, dude. Time's wasting. Shit, dude. What the fuck? So this game explains the fact that you can't traverse water by swimming. You have a water phobia? By explaining that. Nice. So huh? that's what he was seeing was a physical manifestation oh, yes. of his water phobia. I just you know, my family has this problem with water. It's a bunch of hooey anyway. Some old gypsy curse about how we're all supposed to die in water. If you can Brutal. <laughs> right? Oh, I thought it was about the whole thing with the brain eating fish that walks out of the lake at night to hunt for <laughs> Jesus, dude. <laughs> hey, Raz. I saw you and Lily talking in the coach's class, and I was wondering, were you asking her to go with you? Does that mean? What? No. I'm here to train. No distractions. This is the kind of kid who refers Excellent. to pooping wow. as, like, going to make. <laughs> <laughs> I like to say that sometimes. <laughs> oh, wait. Damn it. Oh, you're trying to light the birds. Yeah, hold on. I gotta, I gotta set one on fire okay. before we leave. There's one to the left. Get it. Sorry. Okay, cool. So what does that do? Nothing. Oh, it's just for fun, says. It's just weird to me because they're glowing, and I feel like you should get something from them because they're glowing. Damn it! Another cutscene. Oh, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> God damn! I forgot about this cutscene beach. <laughs> Oh no, he's been brained. Me down to a secret lab and TV. Oh no. He's completely brainless. The dream was true. Dogen, don't worry. I know where your brains are. They're in like this crazy. You go watch TV. I'm going to stay on the beach and try not to freak out that you can still walk, talk and breathe. <laughs> yeah, right. You go to the TV lounge. I'm on the case. Just need a little more advanced training to prepare. I wonder if he's just saying things that uh, Tim Schafer thinks are stupid. <laughs> TV and Haggy said, <laughs> like that. Probably. <laughs> 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 <laughs>